Before we get into this video, I would like to say that we're going to be bringing a lot of information together that isn't confirmed. Some of this information might be false, but some of it also might be true. This video was produced before the announcement and release of any RTX 2050 or DTX 1650 card, so nothing at this time has either been confirmed or released. So let's get into this. We've been hearing a lot of different information from several different sources regarding a Turing based entry level GPU for the past few months. Whether it's the RTX 2050 or even the GTX 1650, there's been a lot of information that surfaced regarding these new leaked GPUs. Now, is the GTX 1650 a thing? I personally have no doubt in my mind that it's real and will be coming. But the big question that I've been getting recently is if an entry level RTX branded GPU could possibly be a thing as well. So I'd like to bring together different sources to try and figure out if there even is a possibility of us seeing one of these GPUs release. So the first thing that we have to take into consideration is the price point and what type of hardware we need to see in a card to even give it DXRT capabilities. When looking at the TU-106 chip featured in the RTX 2060, it's got some impressive rasterization specs that rival the GTX 1080 in terms of real-world use case scenarios. But when looking at its ray tracing performance, it falls behind the RTX 2070, which already isn't too great to begin with. From a strictly hardware perspective, it seems like it would be tough to produce a card that wouldn't cannibalize the GTX 1660 Ti, but also create an investment-worthy performance gap between it and the 2060. On top of that, these new RT-capable touring cards aren't cheap to develop or produce. With the 1660 Ti sitting at around $280, and the RTX 2060 sitting at around $350, there's not really a price point that would set it apart from either card that wouldn't decrease new GTX sales. On screen I've got some theoretical specs for the RTX 2050. These are by no means confirmed, and they're just for a theoretical example. When compared to the RTX 2060, this chip just couldn't provide a middle ground between the more expensive DXRT capable GPU and the more mainstream focused GTX 1660 Ti. Even if there was a large spec cut down, then what would be the point of even having the RT cores if this card could barely run its namesake feature? But let's go back to the theoretical specs for a second. Even if this card could run DXRT, it would still be above what would be considered a budget price point. A theoretical RTX 2050 would have to be at least $280, and at that price point, what advantage would you get for purchasing this card over the rasterization focused 1660 Ti? There just doesn't seem to be a place in the market for an entry-level-esque RTX branded GPU. Don't get me wrong, I'm definitely all for cheaper DXRT capable GPUs. I think that the new technology is cool, but it's a bit expensive, but I still think it's promising. Hopefully though, as time goes on, newer and cheaper RTX options will become available. But until that day, us budget-focused gamers will have to stick with GTX GPUs. Hopefully in a few years we'll get the RTX 30 series, which I'm hoping will be focused more on bringing the price down so more people can have access to this new and exciting technology. Either way, you'd be getting great traditional gaming performance, but as for an entry-level RTX card, I think the 2060 is the lowest it will go. It's unfortunate, but from a business and technology standpoint, there just doesn't seem to be a place for an inexpensive RTX card. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed and or want to stay up to date on all the latest developments regarding new NVIDIA GPUs, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you'll be notified about all our future uploads. And also tell us, what do you think about the possibility of an RTX 2050? Do you agree with what I said, or do you think that the release of this card is inevitable? Tell us what you think. I can't wait to see what you have to say, and I hope you have a fantastic day. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.